Fifteen-year-old Sam Sharp was chilling out at home alone one night. No parents, no brother. She was watching TV and had a good time and not having a good time. After a while, she got a text. She took, a, took out her phone. She took out her phone and looked at it. It was from her girlfriend Luna. Luna asked if she was free tomorrow after school to have a jam session. Luckily, she was, so she yeah, replied with, "Yep, sure am." After she sent that text, her TV changed from the show she was watching to a news report or something. It was pure blue with white text saying, warning. Sam put her phone away and listened to it. It said something about reports about people that looked like you. The last thing made Sam question stuff. It said, if you see another person that looks exactly like you, run away and hide. She didn't know what the heck this thing was and questioned if there was someone that looked like her. Freaked out, she turned off the TV she decided to just take a shower to get her mind off what was TV. When she was taking the shower, she started to forget what happened. After the shower, she completely forgot about it. When she was done walking out of the bathroom, bathroom, she heard something in the kitchen. She ignored it, thinking it was a brother or one of her parents. So she walked into her room and got dressed. When she was finished, she didn't hear anything. She thought her brother or one of their parents went to sleep, but saw that their doors were open. She was very scared at the moment uh, if her brother or one of the parents were not in the kitchen. Then who was? She carefully walked into the kitchen and looked into the room. She gasped but covered her mouth in order for the person who was in the kitchen not to hear her. The person looked exactly like her. She turned and went to run away and hide. But the person that looked like her heard her and went to go look for her. She ran into her room and hid in a closet. Her doppelganger would find her, would not find hoping that her doppelganger would not find her. She even covered her mouth so she, it, it, it couldn't hear her. She heard her doppelganger rock around the house trying to get to look for her. After a while, her doppelganger, wa doppelganger walked into her room and started looking around for her. She yeah, hoped you wouldn't look into her closet. After the doppelganger was d done looking you know, for her everywhere else, it walked to her closet and slowly opened it. She freaked out and ran past it to go hide somewhere else. She hid in her parents' room. She thought her doppelganger didn't see her run into her parents' room, but it did. It followed her into the room and looked around for her once more. After looking around for a couple minutes, it found her again and cornered her. It proceeded to remove Sam and place itself in her place. Her phone went off the next morning. The doppelganger replied, and now it was living the rest of its life in Sam's place. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!